Hello everyone, I am Dr. Saurabh Dikshit and welcome to Surgery Dada. So today we have a patient of polytrauma. You can see the patient is having polytrauma. He met with an RTA, so he is having polytraumas. And whenever we have a polytrauma, we need to rule out abdominal injury and thoracic injury also. So for this, today we have with, our, with us our radiologist Dr. Puneet. And we will be doing a fast for this patient. First of all, let me tell you what is fast. It is focused assessment sonography for trauma where we are going to see four windows of the abdomen. Remember, these are peritoneal windows and we will be looking for the collections. If there is more than 200 cc collection on the lower end, even 150 cc collection is taken as a significant collection. And then we plan for the, you can say, for the surgery. Now we are doing this in a radiology room because the patient is hemodynamically stable that is why we are doing it here otherwise fast is always done bedside. Now when we talk about fast what are the four quadrants that we will be looking for? We will be looking for this is the sub then we have HRP, SRP, pouch of Douglas and now we will be showing you how the assessment is done. So now you can see we are starting with the sub window and you can see we will be looking towards the pericardial window for any tamponade etc. So sir can you demonstrate ki heart ka hai, everything so that ye, ye na, sir, ye shadow, na. so you can see this is the heart and you are not seeing this is the heart and you are not seeing any pericardial any evidence of pericardial effusion in this. The next is we'll, we shall be going for HRP. So so we just drag the probe and take it towards the HRP and you can see here we have the hepatic window. So in a fast we concentrate more on the pouches so that we look out for the collection since this is a hemodynamically stable. You can see this is the HRP. So this is HRP. There is no significant collection here also. A lack accumulation signifies that yes there is a collection. This is the pouch of Douglas that we are looking for. Again, it seems no significant collection here also. This is bladder. Yeah. You can see this is the bladder. We'll be focusing on the SRP, splenorenal pouch. So you can see we can get the shadow of the kidney also there. This is spleen. This is spleen, yeah. This is kidney. This is spleen, this is kidney and no significant collection is seen here also. Out the extended fast or the e-fast, we need to look for the pneumo or hemothorax. So we will now be looking at the right thorax and the left thorax. Can you, can you see this normal seashore sign? Now let me tell you the seashore. This pattern is what is the typical? Lung sliding. Is yeah. Normal. And this is due to the lung sliding. This is a seashore sign. It's normal. Yeah. It looks like the waves and the beach. That is what. Had it been abnormal, you would have got a barcode like appearance in this. This is a classical seashore or stratosphere sign. So no right sided pneumo or hemothorax is there. So this is on the left. So this is on the left. It's seemingly normal on the left hand side also. This was about the fast and e-fast. Remember, the minimum time that you should be giving to every window is somewhere around 30 seconds. And that is why minimum it should be 2 minutes for the fast and ideal is 5 to 6 minutes. So in this patient, we have ruled out any abdominal or thoracic pneumothorax, hemothorax or abdominal uh, hematomas. So thank you for watching this video.